Hey guys, what's going on YouTube? My name is Mayor Fanboy. So I it's been a while since I made a last collection video. So today I will do a update phone collection as of April 2023. So let's get things started. So I organized the phone well, by um, the phone factor. I have Kenny Bar's phone. I separate uh, these first five are phone with antennas. And then we have a couple of um, Kenny Bar phone, a lot of them. And then we have flip phones. We have a bunch of sliders phone, some of the RDs and a keyboard phone phones, and then we have phones with touchscreen and then smartphone in general. So I'm recording on my Samsung Galaxy A12 because well, the, my current cam, my, the Panasonic camera had a broken touchscreen, so I can't even export it. That thing worked, but I can't export it. So I have to use my phone. But it's a 128 GB Galaxy A12. I got it two years ago. So let's get started. So we have five phone with antenna. First of all, we have a uh, this is a fake cell phone. It is an Anyco fake Anyco phone. It's a fake device. Um, I don't know why I got it. I think I got scammed. It does. It used to work. It used to turn on and it has all the very basic stuff. It doesn't have a SIM card for some reason. But yeah, just a Chinese clone and nothing working about it. It just stopped working working so my is destroyed on one video not too sure and then we have this Motorola T191 I'm not sure what carrier this is on is it T191 I'm not sure uh, I haven't I do have an AC adapter that can be plugged to this one but it does nothing so I'm not sure what's going on with that but yeah Motorola T191 I think is I think I'm not sure what wireless this is on actually Next, we have the LG SD, um, not SD Gundam. <laughs> yeah, yeah, these keyboard attend have a tendency to come apart quite often, so I have to be um, somewhat careful with many of them. LG SD2030 is very on S phone, a very uh, early CDMA network in Vietnam. And this one I got with along with one of the other S1 device that this one you will see that one later. And I do not have the charger for this one and I and the battery this one doesn't work. So I use one of these um universal chargers like this one. Uh, it works with many of the phones phones, but for that LG the battery is completely toasted and I couldn't find any other device that used that battery, so it's very for factory, so not really worth it. Who cares? It had a blue backlight actually. I look online. Next, we have two um, um very um g fairly generic um CDMA um phone phone being sold in Vietnam. The first one is a UT Starcom. Hmm, I'm not sure what this one. This one is around 2004, 2005, 2006. That's the that's the year the release of this one. Also took an AC adapter charger, but the battery is very rare to find and I'm guessing this one's water damage because I see um corrosion inside on this one. Not really worth it but it's a very cool phone. It's on C D phone which is a which from what I know is the precursor to the one of the first CDMA network in Vietnam. Before S phone, before HT Mobile, before EV and Telecom. Now this one is a recent find this is a not a day phone. This is Ubiquam U two hundred this is with VP Telecom, which from what I know is the precursor to EVN. So I am, I think one of the EVN cards in all the phones. So it does work with the S1 card. I don't have a battery for this one, so I have to hold this uh, LG battery to make it turn on. See, VP Telecom. The phone is actually vibrate, so hmm, really. So it's a old um, CMA device. It's on VP Telecom, which is the precursor to EVN. Speaker is broken, so and I got this one for fairly cheap too. Um, Yeah, that, that vibrate is kind of weird, but yeah, I got this one working. Uh, I will use this S1 Quad for a lot of CDMA phones. Next, we have a bunch of the 
kind of antenna less um candy bar phones starting with uh, Nokia's we have a couple of the, starting out with the Nokia 6210 um this one the battery works but the phone doesn't turn on so I'm not sure what's going on with that one this one haven't got an official Nokia charger yet I use the universe charger to charge that battery that battery works as well this is a um, that one I got a flea market um, 50,000 Vietnam dong this is for a little bit cheaper because it doesn't have a back doesn't have a battery so Nokia 3310 nothing new about this one I was able to get it to turn on but I don't have the uh, very original battery so one of the same kinds of instances tend to restart itself and uh, I will say the same story with this one this is a Nokia 8250 uh, let's see um, yeah I will explain this one I do have a battery for this one oh. yeah I just bought this battery from the flea market a while ago because my, the old BLD battery for the yes is completely toasted and this battery is dead. Huh. Ne oh, never mind. I guess uh, the power button, these Nokia are kind of hard to press. Insert SIM. The SIM is inserted. Why? And there will be one more phone. Um, I'm not going to turn this this on with this battery. It will it work on a charger, but the, for some reason it will not boot up. So I'm not sure why, but that's weird. But it's Nokia anyway, so I might get a, a new battery for that one. That that will be happier. This is my um, unsold phone, the Siemens C45. No battery, and there is one more S1 card I installed it because apparently this one actually boot up with that S1 card for some reason. Some of the phone did boot up with uh, the S1 card, and it does work. Yeah, it does work. The backlight is kind of uh, weird. Doesn't want that that one. Now this is uh, another CMA phone. This is an LG SD2130. This is a kind of smaller version of this one, and the antenna is integrated. It doesn't require SIM card on it. The battery of this one actually works, so I can demonstrate this. Turn it on. That's just a uh, start out animation being quite a bit um, out of focus, but the phone itself has a good uh, amount of battery, so the battery is good on this one. So, and then let me break out one of these um, Nokia BL Five C battery and um, one of the SIM cards for to test a couple of these um, Nokia vintage Nokia's. Mm, let me move over here. Um, First of all, we have the Nokia 1110. I got this one, one on the first free market. This one already had a card and it's more fun, so. I'm not sure which battery is charged. I'm not sure. Low battery? So I guess this battery is going to be Dyson. It works. Yeah, that's, that's all you should know. This battery is dead. I got pulled this off of the, this one. This may be a tech thing. I have um, one more BL4C that will be useful for one of the phone. For some reason, one of the phone. This is a Nokia 12, 1200. I'm looking for a, a 1600. Wait, wait. But I couldn't find a working one. I saw one of them being a shell at a 1600, but had the IMEA number as 1110. Um, this one is actually the cheapest phone I got in the flea market. You know how much I pay with this one? One dollars. And the thing works only with the exception of the IMEA card being, um, IMEA number being mismatched. So, yeah, and it came with the Vietnam mobile card, so pretty useful because, uh, I'm not sure if there's any phone with that locked to that network. I know one of them is locked to, um, B line and I'm yet to get the card for that. Now we have a Motorola um, W170. This is with HT Mobile and I do not have a HT Mobile card, so this will boot up to the insert the RDM card. 
this is one of the battery. That, I have two batteries like this that that are charged. One, the blue one came from another phone, but that battery is not charged, so I put out of way. HD Mobile. I have one more phone on HD Mobile. That is this one. And a blue monochrome display, actually pretty cool. Um, um, we have two more monochrome Nokia phones to go. This is a uh, Nokia 202. It's uh, one of the old devices in my collection. The backlight of this one's broken. I'm not sure what's happened to the backlight. It's white actually. It's not on cellular one. Not on cellular one. It's not on cellular one. Nothing that's too special about that. And I got this one for 100,000 Vietnam dong. This is the 1280. It has already got a mobile phone card on it, so I know how to put a SIM card on it. Hmm, that's weird. Oh, there we go. Take too a while to um, analyze the SIM card. Yeah, I had like three of these before I got this one, but those three are broken, so I just got this one. Yeah, one of the no, one of the weird thing about some of the phones is that when I found them on the SIM, on the flea market, they usually came with the SIM cards, and one of the Queen Mobile device I got came with two mobile phone cards. So yeah, that does it for the monochrome device. Now let's move on to the phones that use color displays. Let's start with the, some of the Nokia's first. This Nokia, the back cover is uh, sixty six ten. This cover is from the flea market because the old cover just broken half or something like that. It's very generic Nokia phone, very early Nokia phones uh, actually, one of the earlier color phone with color screen. Yeah, that's the only problem with the phone. And then sometimes it will flash through the contact service thing, whatever crap that thing is. So, that's not good. I couldn't find a working one on the flea market, so yeah, I just got it back with it because I might have to uh, find a good one on the flea market. And uh, the next one is in the same form pattern, but it, the main difference between this one and this one is that it, it uses BL 5C and 4C battery, so it's technically useful. It's Nokia 6100. This one I got on flea market, I think I paid 50,000 Vietnam dong on this one. Uh, and it, it does work, but the battery contact is loose, so it doesn't always turn on. But yeah, it already came with a car, car on it. It's a very old Vina phone, so it must have been used uh, for very long. Yeah, honestly, I don't don't remember the battery contact being that hostile to the phones. This battery's broke. This battery's bad, and this is not going to be or or uh, yeah. But it turns on, it has Yoshi's wallpaper on it. Yoshi wallpaper. You know Yoshi from the Mario series. I don't technically play games, but I play um, Kirby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the battery contact, this one is not really that great. So, so yeah. There we go. Speaking, this one was good, so I'm not sure what's going on with that. Yeah, the previous owner actually is a big Yoshi fan, so. Speaking, this one does work, uh, so I'm not sure what's going on with that. And uh, this one doesn't have battery to begin with, so this battery actually came from. I'm not sure what this came from, but it doesn't charge, so. Uh, moving on, we have two other kind of similar Nokia, the 3100 and 3120. I got this one, the, the, the 3100 for very cheap, uh, 30,000 Vietnam dong, and it is fully functional, believe it or not. I might as well turn this one on. This is a 3120. It is with Optus um, Australia. 
Um, I think this bear is dead. Uh, this one does have a battery in it. Does have, this is the orange battery with it. I'm not sure that's charged. Okay, do we have a couple more Nokia batteries? I think I have one more. That battery is bloated, so it doesn't charge. I don't know. One more, more. Um, yeah, I decided to put this one. This iPhone is a decent piece now. Wow. This Nokia just blew up, blew up for some reason, so that's gone. I think that's on and on the Nokia's. Huh. But, yeah. There we go. This is with Optus Australia. Hmm, no battery. This is with Optus and I wasn't able to unlock that, so. Uh, let's see, do you have any other battery? Yeah, I had a couple more that used that battery. This one already had a card, I'm not sure what card it is. Um, Vina phone, I guess? And this one doesn't have a battery to begin, so. That, that cover to begin with, so. This is an Nokia 31, 3220B. It is supposed to be, supposed to be, um, singular, but apparently it's actually unlocked to all carriers. And the firmware is actually flat, so there's no singular branding on this one. And I got this one for fairly cheap too. 25,000 Vietnam down, that's a bit more than $1. The only reason I got this for fairly cheap is it came in a lot of 8 phones, and this is one of the few that works. And uh, apparently this one only had one problem, the speaker is broken. But, hey, you can go wrong with that. Because... This one has really beautiful lights around it, and I like it. You kind of love it. Uh, I, I have put some of the SIM card on some of the phones, so. Um, yeah. I might need some of the cards for all the phones. This is the Nokia 7260. This is a, um, not really sure it's coming or not, but. The, I didn't came came across these phone often. I have Moi phone card, I have Vina phone card, I have Viettel card, I have Hess phone, a bunch of others. So, oh yeah, this one is a very infinity with a SIM card, so it doesn't really read the SIM card all the ways. And even then, the keypad will be broken. So, not really worried, but it does turn on, so I might get it there a couple parts, couple. Pots for that phone. Um, in the vein of the same, of the these two are the are the sixty twenty, and I will need a card for this one. And these 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 phones share the same Nokia B O five B battery. For battery is kind of smaller form factor. In fact, I see I kind of have a couple of phones that use this battery. This one is a trade from one of my friends that I no longer play with. So. Speaker is kind of smaller than expected, so I have to put a pull the volume rocker higher. Yeah, I'm guessing the speaker. This one's a bit quiet than usual. Let's see, do I have another phone with that use movie phone card? Yeah, I think there's only one phone that's not to movie phone, and that's a media tech device. So, not really worth it. Here's this very special one, the Nokia sixty six eighty on not on any carrier it is a prototype device and you don't need a sim card to power this one on some of the older s60 device require that the only problem with this one is the camera doesn't work but that's about it there we go too wide way to turn on i mean while i have three nokia 60 uh, 30, I have three of these. This one had a broken backlight, so I'm not going to turn that on. I'm going to turn one of these on. See, anyone has a card? I will turn this one with a card. No, this one. This, because this one had Toho song on it. So.
So yeah, Nokia 60. Okay. This one had all the Toho song and all that good stuff. This is the one that I got in the flea market quite recently. I haven't done anything much with it, but it's also a pretty cool phone. Huh? Just because it actually uh, work. It actually uh, work. It came with the Nokia BL5 C there on authorized one, 4 C actually, and that's the battery. That that one just blew up, so I threw that away. The screen, this one's offset for some reason, so. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, not really much to say about these Nokia. These are very, these are everywhere. But I actually am quite happy to have a couple of these. Uh, oh, this wrong back cover. This belongs to here. And yeah, this the battery that originally on this one was a bit bloated when I first got it, but it just got deflated and that battery works. Unlike this one, the battery is inflated to the point that it does not hold the charge, so I threw that away. And then we have a double, um, we have two more phones, I got two of them, Nokia 6230. Now, unfortunately, neither of them turned on, so, no, one of them turned on, but it had a bad LCD, so, this is the one that's broken. The other one has a uh, dead backlight. No. Um, I'm not sure what's going on. The LCD, this one, the polarizer is burned and is, I'm guessing the flexible is broken, but the phone does turn on, so who cares? So I might get some of the parts out of it and I'm probably buy a new one. So I guess this one has good speaker, um, good motherboard, only the LCD, and this one just toes it. I got first, that thing used to work though. Next. We have a Nokia 7360, um, and I'm not going to bother putting SIM card on this. This one had a white LCD. Only 22 minutes already. There we go. Speaking of this one works, so I know that the card, that the board logic was good, so it's. It recognizes SIM card, so I know that large boards could, so I'm gonna have to buy a new LCD for it. So, yeah. Another BL5C user for the Nokia are the, is the 5B battery is the 6070. Now, I'm not sure what is there any other phone. I, I think it's the N80 that used the BL, very small Nokia battery. Do I put a SIM card now? Um, let's get a v Viettel card for this one. Why not? I have Viettel card. I have a bunch of cards. I have SIM card out there. And the only one fortune is one of the authors there because I need it for the... <coughs> for the... This one right here. And then there's one more um, fortune card that's on this one. I guess that's also luck. Huh, it's already shut down. Yeah, I saw the Nokia bear yeah, phone just randomly shut down for no good reason. <clears throat> uh, let's see, uh, do we have any other phone? Yeah, I will have a couple of water phones that use the Viettel card. Um, we have the Nokia N70, one of the two Nokia N series that I have. It's basically an upgrade of the N70, which I don't have, and it's actually an upgrade of that one. doesn't have a front camera, so which is kind of weird. I got this on the fairly cheap on the flea market, too. Um, I, there were two of them. One of them has a better LCD, and this one has a bit of water damage indicator, but the LCD is okay. So fine. So this is the one I got. It's a bit um, weird, but the other one has inverted backlight. Inverted uh, polarizer, so yeah. Previous owner actually uh, is a bad big fan of permanent, apparently. So that's why I actually we've been watching permanent lately. So some of the phone will have permanent wallpaper on it. And this is the one that actually came with one when I got it. It's not common for phones to have anime wallpaper on it, so 
that I found on flea market. Yeah, I think the LCD needs uh, to be replaced. I'm not sure that if this has Vietnamese options. Let me go to the menu. Um, it's S60, 60, so it's a bit um, laggy. Not sure if this has Vietnamese option because I'm not sure if um, tools, setting, form, very low, phone language, Filipinos, Indonesia, Malaysia. This is a very old Nokia that doesn't have Vietnamese, so. Either this phone wasn't intended for Vietnamese uh, market. Uh, I mean, I saw user of this uh, these device in Vietnam. Either that, or this device was intended for other Southeast Asian nation. I saw Filipinos, I saw Indonesian and Malaysian. So next, we have another, not two doubles here. These are the Nokia twenty six twenty six. I got these fairly long time ago. One of them came from you know family members. These are these are family members actually. So hmm, the only thing the battery is there. Like this one. Hmm. No. Yeah, battery is low. And these Nokia are some of the first that doesn't require a SIM card. So that's pretty cool because I don't want to put a SIM card on any of the other Nokia phones. This is the uh, 6030, 6300. This is the kind of a newer, had a newer firmware, so it will have a newer Nokia tunes. Um, holding this one is kind of hard to press, so I have to. Yeah, we go. Hmm, part one of this one's hardly fresh. Yeah. Yeah, that power button is hardly fresh, so I will have to probably get a new um power button on this one. Next, we have a Nokia thirty one ten C. This one may have a good battery inside it. Yeah, this battery is good, so I'm going to use that on all the phones. So. Yeah. I got this one fairly recent and the battery doesn't really um like oh yeah this is this one is good this one actually came from let's see which one was it this one right here it was inflated but it got the got when they played play it and it's charged fine so yeah next we have a Nokia 1208 uh, via tell card here you are here let's turn it on Got this one for. That's a problem. Yeah, that's a that's a problem. But yeah, I'm I kind of want this one for quite a while because I I really like um kind of these basic Nokia phones. I have two Nokia thirty five hundred C right here. This is the one that works. This is the one that doesn't work. It had a bad LCD, so I'm not going to bother turning on. I think I had a good speaker, so though, so Let's see, um, BL5C battery around here. I removed that battery already. This one need a BL5B, not 4C to turn on. It's 
speaker this was broken so I would have to get, need to get a new speaker on it thankfully the author 35c had a good speaker so I might get to have someone to replace the speaker for me and then we're good to go next we have an Nokia e51 I don't have a high battery for this one, so I'll have to use um, this thing to power this on. Yeah, hold on. Let me uh, power on for... Let me uh, turn this on. Yeah, apparently this one's missing my power button, so I have to power this on, mm, on off camera. But it works, it is a very old Nokia, not old, but I have three E series. Um, the other two will be keyboard phones, so we will not be seeing them until much later in this video. Yeah, not really worth um, taking, uh, not really worth pressing the power button to shut out, but it's missing the power button, anyways. Here is the only CMA Nokia phone I have in my collection. And this one, I'm going to put the... I don't know where the EVN card on it. I'm put... No, that card doesn't work. The, one of the S1 cards. This is the one... One in all the colors. I'm not sure if this battery is uh, charged or not. But I had a couple of other Nokia phones. Phones. On the second row. It's only 35 minutes uh, and I haven't done, done yet. Uh -huh. So I'm gonna guess this battery will be die. So I'm I'm not able to turn on one of the phones. So one of the phones that required completely required this 4C battery and 5C one fit. So <clears throat> that's sad. But we'll see how it goes. Uh, it's, uh, I'm not sure with a lock too, but always the REM card I tested in their work. I only have the EVN and the S1 one. Yeah, we need this card for a couple of the S1 device. They use uh, REM card. We are on, we are 30 minutes in and we just done with the first row. So let's go to the second row. Um, Nokia, what Nokia is this? 2600 RC, I think it is. Yeah, I just got a bad for this one. The LCD is cracked, but it turns on. LCD is cracked, but it turn on, turns on. That's sad, but wait, I got. I need. I actually need battery for to use on one of the kind of more obscure and cool looking Nokia phones I have in my collection, which you will see in much later. Here's another in the classic series, the 1680 uh, C, 1680C, 1680C. Yeah, that's what the previous owner said. The vibrate this one's broken, so next we have another member is a BO5B battery uh, user. We have a 5230 um, D. D this is is it 5230 or 5330? Um 5320, yeah. I was a bit mixed up with that one. Um, while that is turning on, I will have a uh, quick look at, I will have, have a quick look on this one. The N79, uh, now this one is break. I'm not sure what's going on with that. It just break. Uh, 
I might as well um, see if this has a card. No. Oh, yeah, it does have one card. Let's see. Um. So, that this thing work. That thing's gonna be staying the Nokia logo forever, I guess. I had a couple of Nokia. Oh, and yeah, that's brick. It's not a sprint. It's not a sprint. Uh, someone put that. See, um, yeah, that was the last one that used uh, the kind of generic Nokia battery. Yeah, but no, this is there's nothing special on this one other than it's uh, as some um, dirty device. Uh, yeah, but it works. So here's the reason why the Nokia twenty seven twenty three dirty C. The back cover is a pain to take out, so I have to be very careful with that. Hmm, I'm not sure how, how difficult it is. Let me uh, put the card out, put the back cover out off camera. Okay, it's the 2330Cs. So, I wanted to put one of the Nokia battery in it. This one doesn't require SIM card, so. I might as well to. Uh, Turn this one on. This is a 27730C, which um, I used to have on back in the day. I'm not sure if this is the right battery for it. As, uh, these two are similar, but this one is a bit more modern. And then. And then it's time to um, let's see. It's time to turn the other Nokia phone. This is a Nokia 5030 Express radio. The uh, back cover is also a pain to open up without hurting myself. So. At least this one I was able to turn on on camera. And to take it out on camera, I put an EVN card just to test it. Test it. Did and apparently put up the EVN card. So weird, huh? The main advantage of this one is having a radio without having to plug in the earphone. So it will put. So yeah, I will demonstrate the app, but I'm gonna guess it's gonna be copyrighted. And yeah, this one work with the Evian card, so why? <laughs> and here it's owned by Chinese, not sure. It has an FM radio. Yeah, we have a couple of radio stations in Vietnam, like FM ninety one, one the VUV um, traffic. So. Yeah, I'm gonna use this card for one of the, one of the phones later on. Um, we have a couple more Nokia to go, and we are not done yet. This is the eighteen hundred, and a couple battery mixed up. Yeah, this just came out for some reason. Yes, yeah, screw it. It just turned on though, it used to, used to be in pristine condition. Mm, SIM card not um, registered. Um, 
we see which which one other one we have next. Uh, twenty six ninety. Twenty six ninety. I got this one in one of the other shop. That shop also had this one in better condition, and that is twice as expensive. So let's have it go guess it. Hmm. These are okay. I got kind of laggies. So. Let's see. Um. Um. Then we have the Nokia C one. I paid about not sure how much I paid about this one. Let's see, uh, seventy four percent. Nokia C two on one. This is the one I got from family members. It's actually built the same, uh, have the same interface as this one, except this one has a newer soft sound. I have a couple phones that use this type of sh style of sound. So, yeah. Uh, let's see, um, we have four monokias and then we are going through Samsung's. Uh, Nokia X101, now this one I'm going to have to get the, this is some of these, let me see which one was it. Not that one, it's this one. That battery is the one you use on, on one of the Nokia's recent. I'm not sure this one to support um, radio, radio without headphones. And then we have three uh, modern uh, basic uh, Nokia phones. We have Nokia 206. This one use this battery. I'm not sure that battery is charged or not because that is one of the two battery that I got. Hmm. I have another one. Some of these battery that that is working. So yeah, I will have to use this um thing to turn it on, ready to turn on. Yeah, it was the battery that's the culprit. There was only one line when I got it. There's some, some something happened when something happened and it had another line. Nokia, fairly basic Nokia actually, but this is one of the few model Nokia that I got. Because the other Nokia's, um, they don't seem to work, and I don't like media tech Nokia phones. So, um, so before Nokia ha used me MTK and stuff, um, they uh, had the kind of modern S thirty um board on it. So S thirty um mobile on it. So I have two of them. This is a one hundred five. And put this battery. I might put a wrong bad one. Yeah, that was the wrong one. Don't worry, this battery will be used on one of the phones that required that exact battery very soon. <clears throat> Let's pretend. What? Now this just doesn't turn on anymore. That's weird. It used to work. Uh, well, you gotta be kidding me, right? This used to work. I got this done one thing to turn on. <sighs> yeah, I got this thing to work. It used to turn on. 
But now for I'm not sure what's going on with this thing. Um, let's see. Um, not sure what's going on with this thing actually. The contact doesn't seem that bad. Yeah, I think this one just stopped turning on. What a surprise. You gotta be kidding me, <laughs> right? I never got a phone like this that stopped turning on one day. Uh. Yeah, I might have, we'll have to troubleshoot this one for a bit. Let's see what battery should I, I use. This one right here. I may have to troubleshoot on that one to see what's going on because apparently um some of the Nokia's are kind of thrown to this one. The one I, I got this problem with are the are the flip phones, the Nokia older Nokia flip phones. But not this more this modern thing. I'm not sure what's going on. I'm guessing either the thing is break. So you ought to be kidding me, right? Oh, damn it. Well, at least I got this one. This is a Nokia 106. It's my old phones. Old phones. Yeah, at least this one does not turn on. This is actually my first um, phone that I used back in the day. <sighs> I'm quite sad that I see that this one suddenly stopped turning on one day. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The thing is, Tommy told us those that I've only destroyed that later. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Really unhappy with that. Might have to order one of them online or even sell them. So, now we move on to the other non-Nokia candy bars. Finally, after 40 minutes or so, we have the own, one of the two CMA Samsungs, the SGHS X969. Samsung battery. Yeah, this is the only Samsung battery that works, so. It's on S1. Man, why would I say that? Oh, um, and this one, this is the Samsung SCHB309. We'll stay on the S1 screen for some reason. Who we'll keep finding the service? <clears throat> but of course, S1's down for 10 years now. Hmm, not sure. Is, is it? Try to read all the card. Yeah, it's kind of lag. And um, this Samsung is a bit better. It's a new bit newer. So, it's on any code. It's not sure it's locked to any other carrier. And the other Samsung device I got here are GSM. So we have a uh, Samsung will show on startups. Mostly Samsung will show the modern number on startup. E eleven ten T eleven hundred T. Um, speak. Uh, this one was good on this one. For some reason it just stopped working. GSM dual band. It's on Viettel.
Uh, this Samsung GT and then ATT doesn't turn on, so not worth showing. Here is a um, E E twelve fifty or something like that. Yes, let's see. GT uh, C thirty two twelve. Yeah. Zero service day left, so that's weird. Hmm. Oh, I took the battery out. Here we go. So there's that Samsung. I have one more Samsung candy bar phones. It's this one. Samsung, let um, me see it, um, GT A1080, E1050. This is one of the first ones I got from Flea Market. Welcome to AT&T. <laughs> Yeah. Now we move on to some of the other unique candy bar phones. I already showed this one turn on quite a while ago. It's an LG B1300 on Movie Star, but it's uh, but it got flashed to an L Star device, so. That's sad, but it works. Uh, I'm not bothered turning on. I don't have a battery for it. I will have to do weird thing with that battery. Here's a Nokia. Here's an LG B2100. This is with Borges, France, and I got that Borges card from my mom. We went to France, and this is the card that she used. <clears throat> so, uh, despite it being Borges, it actually roaming to Vina phone, so. Oh, no, no back cover on that one. LG C um, KP um, is this KP okay? Uh, KP one hundred. Oh. See um, that's how the LG phone will turn on. Oh, this hard has a pin. There's a pin card pin on that card, so I may have to do something with the card, so and yeah, oh I'm gonna to have to pull this card thing out and I'm going to pull a, a different SIM card in. This one doesn't have any pin, so that that this card had pin. Yeah, that works. That car has a pin coat. Okay. Uh, let's see, we have a couple of Sony Ericsson coming up. We haven't gone through the flip phones phone yet and we already have on to about 15 minutes so about um, nearly an hour Sony Ericsson T630 let's see do we have a battery to turn it on oh yeah this one is kind of hard to turn on so but it works though so this is another Sony Ericsson um, let's see how do you take the back cover off oh no, no.
There we go. Sony Ericsson K600i is locked to. Not sure it's locked to. Um, China Telecom. I'm not sure it's China Telecom or not, but it's had a passcode, so. Yeah, apparently it's China Telecom. This is the W800i that I got long, long time ago. You already seen this one turn on, right? Yeah, you already seen this one turn on. But I got it work. The battery contact is really loose. The battery, the contact between the battery and the battery contacts are loose because there's no backup on that one. But that one works as a walk coming phone. Here's the J2 um, J230i. This is with it's not with any other carrier, but it's not a Vietnamese device. They have Danish when I first got it, so I'm guessing this is a um, European yeah, device that got stuck in Vietnam. <clears throat> uh, we have a couple of other Sony Ericsson's. The next one is a little bit special on this one. It's not a European Sony Ericsson device, but it is with T-Mobile. Now, one weird thing about this one is actually un this thing is actually unlocked. So that's how the Vietnamese phone got away with the import devices. Is that they um, bypass the unlock? They bypass the um, phone um, carrier lock. I don't have an ultra battery this one, so this battery doesn't really fit. But it turns on. And is a uh, on T-Mobile. That's pretty cool. T-Mobile UK is it? Yeah, I forgot to mention the model number is the W two hundred I. Yeah, that's pretty cool. This one actually is kind of more decent phone. Um, I have two W uh, no J uh, one hundred one hundred ten I. This one is brick. Crack LCD doesn't turn on, and this is the one that's working. I'm not gonna bother putting SIM card on it. It's nothing special. It's just a basic Sony Ericsson phone. I haven't got a chance to um, swap the housing on this one, so. Now the free Motorola phones. This Motorola W two hundred. Let's see. Um, this battery. Um, not sure this battery is only charge or not. That's the only battery that this one use. It's going to stay on the white screen. Yeah, this battery is dead actually. And it's kind of a bit annoying on for the Motorola, but yeah. It's on S phone. This is also on S phone W210. Moto battery. Yeah, drop the cart. One of the carts. I 
Oh yeah, I have one more phone that uses more battery. I'm gonna show that one first. Moro W360. It's pretty really cool more little Moro. Uh, I only had the car, so I don't have to put it, the card as I as fun. I'm not sure, sure what's going on. It, I mean, I, I got this to turn on. Yeah, I got this on, on to turn on. Maybe the battery this Maybe the battery is not the right one. Not sure. Some of the phones I just tend not to turn on. The battery contact looks fine. The SIM card is fine. What's it going to be the case for why this doesn't turn on? Maybe it's kind of doesn't like the Opera no more or a battery. But I know this one does to work, so it's just turn on. So and I don't have a way to charge it on the gun. Hang on, let me uh, check on this one. Not sure. Not sure was why would that didn't really want to turn on with this battery. I mean, this isn't the right battery for that, like at all. Oh man, this um, this used to work actually. Uh, never mind. I'll try to get it uh, fixed later. Yeah, but I'm. We need to find a good battery. Um, probably not going to turn on this video, but we'll we'll another video. So, yeah. That's probably due to batteries. The battery doesn't seem to be um, working on the normal for some reason. This Banggood Seaman, I don't have the battery for, is i 75 I don't know if it works. This mobile is just this piece. This one, it works, but the battery just doesn't hold the charge. And just a basic mobile phone that I'm not bothering turning on. This one is very brand new, it's a Master of Army 12. One hour, and I'm done yet. Next phone, LS Star BM10. It's dead, but it works. Uh, Miss We Huawei Miss We T210 is locked to B lines. Not that much. Um, um, to uh, not that much. So not more button turning on. APT B500. Actually, does this work with this battery? Nope. For some reason, this one only works with the BL5C battery, so I have to grab one of the, the it battery. There we go. Next we have Queen Mobile Queen 215. I have two Queen Mobile phone on this collection. Oh, now this work. <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on with that thing. 
kind of scammy at first. Maybe this one had had defective power buttons. So. Uh, yeah, I think the power button this one's defective. So. Yeah, I think that this one had a bad power button on this one, but it does turn on, so <laughs> yeah. I might have to inspect that more or uh, to see why it stop doesn't turn on anymore. I might have to inspect that. But yeah, overall, I'm guessing this one had a bad power button, so the LC is good though, so. Here is this Queen Mobile. I uh, have Queen Mobile Queen 267 right next to it. Now focus on. This Viettel V6202 ZTE is white screen, so not worth turning on. Viettel V6216. That should turn on. I'm gonna use this battery for one more phone. The Viet next Viettel actually had that used this battery. I just realized that, so pretty handy. We are down to some of the last dumb phones. We have Avio a, uh, 101 is with um, Vina phone. Hmm. Moby Star B210 is a basic media tech phone. Hmm. This is the ultra battery for that came with this one, so I might just ch check it. If it turn on with that battery. Just because this one's blown. And we have one last damn phone. Kangaroo K10 i This is actually a Vietnamese brand new phone, so really um, historical Kangaroo made appliance. So this is one of the few phones that they meet. Yeah, K10 i Kangaroo. Now we are done with the dumb phone at last. Now we move on to the flip phone. So we have Motorola StarTech 210. I don't have to charge it up battery for this one, so I can test it. Samsung SGH S300. This one has a um, bad LCD. No, bad ribbon cable. Nokia 2650 um, It turns on to the backlight, that's it LG VX3300, this is with um, Verizon This one turns on to the uh, use genuine battery screen
Oh, I was at turn on. Yeah, we go. It's in very really rough condition, actually. Use genuine battery. Samsung SGH. Um, not sure what SGH is this. Um, is this X four hundred sixty or something like that, or X six forty? X four sixty. The battery is going to die this one, so. Yeah, the battery died. Nokia 6170, this brick. Wide screen. This one has good LCD, but it's also breaks the 7270. VK Marvel VK um, 110C. That works on S phone. This doesn't require this card. This ZTE C220. I don't have the battery, so I can test it on this phone and it requires an RM card. Yeah, this S phone, the phone is kind of cool. I actually kind of want one, one of these. It's actually rare. It's not document online, so. I have two more Razer. The V3 M Verizon, then this is a fake uh, Dose Gabbana phone. To fake Dose, Dose Gabbana. This one also has a really same card. The Razer V3 M has a water damage, so it will ultimately turn on when the battery sensor. So I already show that. So I'm not going to. It get really hot when when the battery sensor. So yeah, I'm not going to do that. But are you already seen that thing turn on? So. Nokia 6101 Bad hinge, but it turns on the backlight doesn't work actually Nokia 616060 uh, actually See um BL5 B I have one more one slider phone that use that battery, so stay tuned for that. This slide's broken. I got this on fairly cheap online. There's no Vietnamese option on this one, so pretty sad. Um, Nokia 6085. Now I'm guessing this one will have the bad ribbon cable. It just do glitchy stuff, and it will over. And even without that, the polarizer is only broken. No, this time, this time it works. So, um, yeah. Not sure. Sometimes the flex cable is going to be broken in this one, like this. Mm, no. Flexible is doesn't really work that way. This is a very really cool Nokia sixty one thirty one. Flip like that. Now this one is the only one that doesn't work with the BL five C, so I have to, to use the BL five four C. There we go. Button's kind of hard to press, so press so. <laughs> Next, we have an LG. Now I read a comment online and it shows that this one's on bells, but I'm highly doubt it. LG LX one fifty. I highly doubt this one. This one there uh, could be two options. This one may be on bell or it's used on Sprint roaming network. So, I also got this one online for very cheap. Yeah, I'm guessing this one's going to use Bell and Latin Mobile or Sprint Roaming. Because I don't see Sprint branding anywhere. Um, I usually saw this thing on um, Sprint, so yeah, not sure what carries on. 
Now this one is obvious. It's an LG HD one fifty six, and it is going to be HD model. I kind of want to be a bit uh, faster than usual. Now we move on to uh, kind of more modern Samsung flip phones. First of all, we have an SGH um, X. Um, I wish I would do it up. SGH X two hundred. I actually saw one on the flea market um, in way much better condition, but I think it got sold quickly. So, it's kind of sad, but who cares anyways. Here's a cheaper one, the X160. This one had a better screen, actually. Believe it or not. Mom may have been used one of these one. Samsung, this is actually a very cool Samsung. SCH X169 now. Let's see, um, S1 card. Let's see, um, next one. Samsung SGXC, um, I'm going to show that later. Shut this down. See, do you have another phone that uses S1 card? Um, no, that's that was the last one. Samsung C260, this one has a broken, um, has a couple broken keys, but it does turns on. Yeah, a lot of the key doesn't respond to this one. Okay, hang on, my mom's calling. Sorry about that. Someone called me and I uh, got some shipping. Someone shaping stuff for my mom and I have to take it because my mom's not home. So let's continue This Motorola W220 is broken. Someone snapped a battery contact so it's not turned on anymore Samsung X510 mm, Let's see the Samsung battery This Samsung X688 this Samsung is brick. It's just split loop, so not worth turning on. Samsung SGH T219. This is where T Mobile. Oh, yeah, I don't want to pull the SIM card right now, but it's actually unlocked to OK area, so yeah, happy me. And then we have Samsung Gusto, Gusto one. We put the battery back on this one. Next it, next to it is the Samsung um, Convoy, Convoy two. Both of these work. And then this LG right here. LG something something SV360 is on some Korean carrier that I couldn't find any information of. It works, but the battery's current life is terrible. So, um, yeah. Come on, focus. Please wait. Please say a can. Hmm, I don't want that. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, let's see, I have a couple Samsung that, phones that use this battery, so. Next, we're moving on to the slider phones. Took us quite a while for to do that. Samsung SGX X410, D410. I don't know how to charge it for this, so I can test it. Ubiquam U300 on EV and Telecom. I do know I do have battery that things that things blow it to help but yeah it work I'm not sure it's work or not the Snow Guess is one eleven flexible broken and problems on the on the front there so I can test it again 6288 again flexible problem but it just turned on the Snow Guess fifty three hundred actually works so. Yeah, I think the speaker this may have been a bit um quieter. Not all speaker this on on the phones are good. They sometimes went bad for some reason. Sanyo S seven fifty and it's on orange. It's one of the few Sanyo phones, few GSM Sanyo phones. Most of the Sanyo phone I encounter were Sprint CMA or Bell. Sony Ericsson, um, so model number is W580i. Uh, this one I do have a battery before it, right here. And it's just taking some glass off. That's how you put it inside it, I guess. Hmm, there we go, that's the lock. I have one more Sony Ericsson phone, and that will be the last Sony Ericsson for this question. The T three hundred three. This is actually a, a very very cheap looking in Sony Ericsson phone. Yeah, for some reason, some of the battery does does not want to. Um. Yeah, that's weird. It's the same. There's no way to it's the same. This one has magical dormy wallpaper on it. And LG Shine KE 970. It's flexible, it's broken, and apparently it's brick. Uh, Samsung SGX F400. Let's see, do we have a good battery in it? I'm not sure. Um, Oh, that sounds like it's on the com on it's on the gusto. Oh, it's right here. Got it. The flexibles. This one doesn't seem to be that great on the health, so. You know, when it's light, it's just turn it black. So, I'm not gonna demonstrate on this video. Or, uh, yeah, I did. But the phone itself does work. Work. So, yeah, it's on orange. Next is another phone. Samsung GTC. Uh, it was shown on the startup screen. GT um, S3100. This keypad is kind of falling apart, so. It's 
cellular one again it's not like the original carrier of this Um, this is Mobisar F525. Let me just check the Queen Mobile battery to see if that fit. Oh, this is the battery that came with it, so. Pretty cool, right? Maybe the battery just died on this one. No. Oh. Apparently the sound on this one is actually copyrighted, so... Yo, I just have this battery that used on free media tech phone. So I uh, the Queen Mobile battery used on free phones actually. Um, now we have some of the oddities. We have keyboard slider, HTC Hero 100. I don't, I, the battery is boring, so I kind of know that that worked. The LCD is cracked and flexible is broken. LG um, Neon, Neon, yeah, Neon. Battery quick charging, so I can t test it. This is actually a really cool phone, the 7370, and. It works, but the uh, speaker is broken. Now we move on to the keyboard phones. Starting up, BlackBerry 7290 on um, see what this is T-Mobile UK. That thing is break. This is also break the Vodafone 7110V. Nokia E71. E71. Works. I only have one of these battery. I have another one, but that thing just blew up and it stopped working. I want to use this battery for these two and then I'm going to go to this one later on. I'll go through this next. Um, E63 is basically a cheaper version of the E71 from what I know. I got this one fairly cheap, I think 50,000 get them down. And then the E63, this one had a bad speaker. While we are at it, I was turn this Nokia C3 on. It's uh, S40 uh, Nokia phones, S40 um, keyboard phone. Oh, this one had used another battery, battery, this one. LG C100, this one is break. The keyboard doesn't respond. This one's break, the keyboard doesn't respond, but it does turn on. See, do you have another one? Yeah, I have a couple other phones that use that battery, so. Okay, XT01, I have two of these, this one's dead. LC's fast busted, and this is the one that works. I got this on the free market. Yeah, that, that was that was the last one that used uh, the old 5C battery, so it's going to be staying here. Funny enough, I uh, there was a 7610 phone on it. It was free, free time I was spending on that one, and I tested it, and it just say, "Contact the retailer." What a surprise! Well, this one does really just work. Um, yeah, I'm really happy to have this one working. Uh, and then we have 
APT F99 3G the only uh, MediaTek keyboard MTK um, keyboard um, device I got it's on Moe phone And last keyboard phone, HTC um, Cha Cha. Very stacked, but it works. Now we move on to the touchscreen phone. We have the first Nokia touchscreen phone ever released, the 5800 um, Express Music. Oh, yeah, this one, this one I will have to put the SIM card in because I want to see the start on shut on sound on this one. Let's see how you put the SIM card in. There we go. I guess that's how you put the SIM card in. Doesn't seem to go all the way through, but eh, whatever. And what my idea is, I'm going to turn the Nokia Asha 307 on. I might, I'm, I'm, I'm actually at it. See, um, yeah, it's right there. Actually, this one doesn't seem to be that responsive. Hmm. Yeah, that's actually this one doesn't seem to be responsive. Yeah, we have to do something and pull the, pull the car out. And this one. Transferry. Yeah, I think that battery is just bad. Also, yeah, this one's broken, but touching does still work. So that's the reason I bought it. And let's see. Do you have other phones? Oh yeah, these two phones can't turn on, turn on because they have some problems. Samsung Star. I don't have a good battery for this, just blow up. This Samsung Genoa, I don't have a battery for this one as well. Actually, let me see, um, uh, is this convoy battery fit? Convoy battery. I'm gonna have to, to test a couple of these. Let's try, try this out. Um, no, that doesn't fit. This doesn't fit either. Okay. 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 There we go. Hmm. I'm not sure what's going on with this one. Maybe the battery contact is kind of weird. Uh, I do not have the good battery for it. Um, this is the last one I'm going to turn on for this video, the APT B8600, because all the one has dead batteries or broken. Lumia 530 Nokia is broken. 
Microsoft World Lumia 930, I think it is, is with AT&T. And this one has, she has some battery life left on it. iPhone 5S, I haven't tried this for a while, why, but I don't know it works. It's locked to my personal iCloud account. Some Android device, Moro backflip. Flexible is broken and I think I pricked it. LG Optimus, um, what is it? Optimus VS or something like that? No. Optimus Me, yeah, Optimus Me. It works, uh, LC is inverted. Samsung Galaxy, uh, is this Trend Plus? Yeah, it's Trend Plus. This I new piece of crap, um, it's brick. No free, I'm mean, broken. Galaxy, uh, Grand Prime? Yeah, Grand Prime. So, so, uh, it's the screen, but it does turn on. Mobi Star, the battery life is horrendous on this one. Lie, do you know? This cream of walls, brick, spoon loops, Nokia something something, TA1033, there is that, and this VSMOD uh, Joy 4, it's also dead. So, yeah, I'm going to guess that's going to be it for this collection, and yeah, this, this one just also die. Yeah, this is just, just die. So yeah, that's going to be it for this collection, and... I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you guys in the next one.